Welcome to DasFilmFest.com. Uh, this week we're sponsored by Neocon Express and by Emico. My name is Eames Demetrius, I'm the proprietor, and it's sunset, and we're at the Santa Monica Airport, and we're here because we're introducing a film called The Solar Film. And this is a film that was uh, made by Saul Bass in the late 70s, and it was um, executive produced by Robert Redford, who's really the driving force behind making it happen. And I think it's one of those films that, you know, as we look back on it, um, you know, a lot of the information, it may be familiar to us now, but there's a reason why it's familiar to us, and that's because of films like this, a real groundbreaking film in terms of introducing people to the concept of solar energy as a legitimate, uh, legitimate energy source. So let's watch the film, and we'll talk about it more afterwards. The sun rose upon a young, barren earth. Slowly, vast and profound changes occurred. Water vapor, heated by the sun, formed clouds, condensed and fell to earth, creating the oceans. The heat of the sun produced the winds and currents, and life began its evolutionary journey. Using the sun to create oxygen made possible animal life, and eventually, man. How was primitive man to deal with the power that controlled his life? Power that could provide or deny. Fear turned into worship. Some created rituals to ensure the sun's return. Some sacrificed to the sun. Others used the sun to plan their planting and harvests, and used its changing orbit to warm their dwellings in the winter and cool them in the summer. And the more he learned, the less he feared and knowledge only increased his awe. Meanwhile, underground, lay a vast store of the sun's energy, trapped, waiting. Stuff really burns good. I told you. This stuff's worth anything. There's money in oil! I'm rich! I'm Richard! I'm always topping me, Harry. Let's call it black gold. Yeah, that's a good phrase. It might catch on.
Nice. Hey, remember the good old days when we could just go driving? Yeah, that was terrific. <sighs> It's over. to worry about. Importing more oil only made matters worse. The value of the dollar dropped again today on world money markets with news of the latest OPEC price increases. Financial observers predicted. <laughs> People began to worry. I'm worried. I'm very worried. Somebody do something. Don't look at me, man. Find more oil. Tell me where I'll make a hole. It's your fault. It's yours. It's the weirdo. Who are you calling weirdo? I'm a Democrat. Yeah, I'm a weirdo. Then it's a Democrat. Maybe it's a Republican. It's the two-party system. No, man, it's the oil company. It's environmental. It's them Ruskies. He means the Russians. Why doesn't the government do anything? What government? The people of the government. Then why don't the people do nothing? You're the people. The sun feels good on your skin. You know, when you're wet and cold, and it dries you and warms you up. When Mama did the wash, we'd hang the clothes on the line. And when we took them down, I remember how warm they felt and, and the fresh smell. It was wonderful. And with an early spring, we had plenty of sun that year, and everything grew. We're still eating the preserves Alice put up. And in those days, we built our houses of adobe. First the adobe, a little straw, and the sun did the rest. Of course, you have to be careful of the straw. We have a solid north wall, and with the south end of the house open to the sun, you really won't need a backup system because the orientation of the house... Have is... your power source the sun, water and trays coated black to absorb heat, Glass goes on top, trap seat, and that's called a solar collector, and then you pump the hot water to any part of that house. It's that more than a quarter of our energy is used for heating space and water. So solving those requirements gets it's a good part of the Maybe. way. One thing about solar energy I like, it sure is clean, and that's important. When you read about you're the nuclear something problem. about it. You're not at the mercy of those foreign oil producers. Well, not as much. I've often anyway. thought that one of the good things about solar energy is it's pollution free which is significant. If you stop and think about it, you realize that the sun doesn't send you a bill each month. Over the years, that's Today, the to fact that money. solar is accident-free goes a long way towards reassuring us that we won't be faced. With solar, you worry less about terrorists and other people who use violence to achieve their aims. And my astronomy professor says the sun will always be there, at least for another several billion years or so. Actually, one of the most important solar energy developments involves photovoltaic cells. That's getting direct electricity from the sun. In five years, it'll be competitive to the stuff you buy when you turn on your lights.
So that was the solar film. It was made by Saul Bass. And, you know, uh, Saul Bass was a pretty fascinating guy, and I was fortunate to have dinner with him a couple of times. He and his wife Elaine were very, very gracious people. And uh, they, he did beautiful graphic designs. He did the poster, most famously perhaps for the, uh, the, uh, the Man with the Golden Arm. Uh, but many, many posters, many title sequences. Not just, I shouldn't have said the poster, the title sequence for The Man with the Golden Arm. Just beautiful, beautiful graphic work. He was involved in um, Hitchcock's Psycho, uh, and he did the opening sequence for Grand Prix, um, as well as making a lot of films in his own right, including the, the solar film. And he was a real uh, mentor to a lot of designers. Meant, uh, his work means a lot to, to a great deal of people. So if this is your first introduction to him, um, you know, why don't you try to uh, find some of those films that he did the, uh, did the titles for, like The Age of Innocence with Martin Scorsese, uh, things like that. Really, really beautiful body of work. So I hope you enjoyed the solar film, and we'll see you next week. Remember to tell people about dasfilmfest.com. Thanks.